weather. It's in the upper 60s right now in Birmingham, the light west southwest wind, and there's just a damp, cool feel to the air. And in the next few days, that dampness will start to move away and it gets drier and warmer going into next week. But there could be some issues coming from the Gulf of Mexico again within the next seven days, likely by the first part of next weekend. There are some showers showing up in WVTM 13 live Doppler radar from Montgomery area through Elmore County, southern Tallapoosa County. There's been light drizzle and fog and low clouds around all day, and it's all because of that, the remnants of Helene that got absorbed into a much larger storm system that's now just stalled up to our north. And this big pocket of moisture represented by the green isn't moving much during the day tomorrow, and it will spin off even more of those little spotty showers like we had around here on this Saturday afternoon, except a few of them could be a bit heavier, especially up in North Alabama, not anticipating any sort of significant widespread heavy rain, just enough that you might want some rain gear during the day on Sunday. Kind of a cloudy and damp start to tomorrow morning. 61 at sunrise we will go to 77 tomorrow afternoon. That's quite a bit warmer than it was today, but still well below normal for this time of year. The best chance of those spotty showers is going to end up just a little bit to the north of the Birmingham Metro, but I do think we could see some light rain and even Bessemer, Trustville, Asheville. Anniston, Tuscaloosa and Greensboro. There's your hour by hour going to 63 at 6 a.m. 75 by noon 77 in the afternoon with a west wind around 5 to 10 on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. We start to warm things up. Thursday will likely be the warmest day of the week with a high close to 87. So we'll start in the 60s early Thursday morning and then warm all the way up to between 85 and 90 degrees. But the humidity will be somewhat low, so I don't anticipate that feeling much worse than it is. Friday, we're at 83, and then we're looking at the Gulf of Mexico for the weekend ahead. Out there in the Atlantic right now, we've got Isaac, a Category 1 hurricane, Joyce, a tropical storm, and then we think this area of low pressure will probably be Kirk within the next 24 hours. But there is one more spot to look at here in the short term. In the next seven days, the National Hurricane Center suggesting there's about a 50 plus percent chance that a new tropical cyclone could develop and move into the Gulf of Mexico. What you see right here, this is one forecast model. I don't want you to get caught up in it. I just want to overlay that and show you where I think there could be some potential impact from this Saturday or Sunday. Now this goes potentially from Tampa all the way to Cameron, Louisiana, and forecast models are going to flip and flop. I think that's a pretty good look at where it's going to go. Alabama, Mississippi, Florida need to pay very close attention to this. So if you have beach plans for the upcoming weekend, just know that there could be some issues down there, even if it's just strong rip currents and high surf, or if it's the actual impact of a tropical storm or hurricane, we'll of course keep you posted on that.